Hey guys, I had uh, such a good time with the last trap base I made. I wanted to see if I could make it a little bit smaller, make it cheaper to build, and uh, some way that I could run multiple trap bases at once. One problem with trap bases is once you use it in one area, everyone knows it's there and they avoid it like the plague. So I was watching YouTube the other night, and I watched a YouTuber named Benjamin, and in his video, he had a way to actually alert the Rust Plus app without having electricity run in your base. So I've linked the video in the description, and I'm going to use it in my small bases. Now, the first thing you want to do is you have to find a pretty... Uh, high traffic area. So what I've chosen is in between launch site and power plant because uh, yeah, both the places are quite busy and there's an abandoned supermarket here as well. So I'll build here. Now this is a very simple build. It's two square foundations, one raised triangle, and two low triangles. And then you upgrade everything to stone, and that's the whole build. After that, it's just a matter of filling it up on the inside. So you're going to put your TC back here. Put a set of double doors here, facing so they open inward like this. You'll put your flame turret here. And I'll just put the roof in so I can place this one box. Okay. Now for the lore, you want to put a shelf here. There, and basically your trap is ready to run now. Now, the addition that Benjamin had put in the other video is this. When you put down a pressure plate, I'm going to put it directly where they're going to drop when the roof falls away. Uh, the pressure plate actually puts out one unit of power every time it's stepped on. Okay, so you're going to put the smart alarm in the other room, and then we'll run a wire between them. So we're going to go from the power out here. into the power in on the smart alarm. Now with the smart alarm we'll change the name. And we'll pair it with the smart app. Or sorry, with the Rust Plus app. Okay, I've now paired the device with my phone and I'll leave my mic open so you can hear it actually uh, alert me by text. So, as you see, now when someone falls into the trap, they're going to set off this pressure pad, which is going to alert me by text, so I don't have to be here to collect. And with this base, 
It also closes itself up, so you don't have to worry about their friends getting in and getting their loot back from them. So, what I'm going to do now is load up the trap. Oh, I set off the alarm. And I'm going to clear the TC. And we'll just walk into it. See how it works. And I did forget one thing. I forgot to put a sleeping bag down before I killed myself. Uh, you can put it right in here with the flame turret as the flames don't bother any of your uh, stuff in the base anymore. So as you can see, the trap works very well. Uh, I set up uh, four of them on a 10x server and just ran it for a few hours today. And I had a lot of fun trapping with it. So I'm going to end with some highlights from that and stick around to the end to see how uh, one of the bases ended up. Thanks for watching. played my friend <laughs> thanks man well that's not very nice is it? I'm sorry, bro. It was just... I'm sorry. I was just kidding. <laughs> Are we a little better? You're not a big fan? <laughs> <laughs> 